Hello and welcome to Beyond Borders Briefing, the channel that brings you the latest news and analysis from around the world. In today's episode, we will talk about the humanitarian crisis in Libya, where a devastating flood has killed thousands of people and left many more missing in the coastal city of Derna. The flood was caused by a rare and powerful storm that hit Libya on Sunday, dumping more than 400 mm of rain in some areas, a new record for the country. The storm, known as a Medicaine, is a hurricane-like system that forms over the Mediterranean Sea and can bring strong winds and heavy rainfall. The floodwaters overwhelmed two dams that were supposed to protect Derna from flooding, and swept away several bridges and buildings along the Wadi Derna River that runs through the city. Witnesses reported hearing a loud blast before the water engulfed the city in a matter of minutes. The official death toll has risen to more than 5,000 people, according to Tariq al Karaz a representative of Libya's eastern government. However, the Red Cross estimates that at least 10,000 people are still missing, and many of them are feared to have died. Rescue teams are searching for survivors and bodies on land and at sea, but the operation is hampered by the lack of equipment and infrastructure in the war-torn country. Derna is a city of about 90,000 people that has suffered from years of conflict and instability since the 2011 uprising that toppled and killed former leader Muammar Gaddafi. The city was controlled by Islamist militant groups until 2019, when it was captured by Gen Khalifa Haftar, the warlord who leads an army in the east and opposes the UN-backed government in Tripoli. The city has been neglected and isolated by both sides of the civil war, and has received little investment in public services and disaster preparedness. The flood has exposed the vulnerability of Libya's infrastructure and the need for urgent humanitarian assistance. The UN has called for an immediate evacuation of Derna's residents to safer areas, and has appealed for international support to provide food, water, shelter, and medical care to the affected population. The UN also urged all parties to the conflict to respect a ceasefire and allow humanitarian access to Derna. The flood in Derna is one of the worst natural disasters in Libya's history, and a tragic reminder of the human cost of war and climate change. As the search for the dead continues, many questions remain unanswered, how did the dams collapse? Could the disaster have been prevented or mitigated? And what will happen to Derna survivors in the aftermath? That's all for today's episode of Beyond Borders Briefing. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more news and analysis from around the world. And don't forget to leave your comments below.